Good morning guys, it's time to play a little bit more. I have like one hour to share with you. And I'm just trying to overcome rank 2, finally. It's a little bit longer there than I'm used to. Um, uh, that's mostly due to the higher competition because of the Blizzard uh, BlizzCon announcement as well as me playing a slow deck and almost like, groping almost every turn, I guess. Uh, the deck list for you. No, that's the wrong one. I must protect the wild. That's the wrong. Yeah, there we go. So, we're playing Hunter against Hunter. Um, going first, I have to be more picky. Uh, that's exactly what I'm looking for, I guess. If a zombie chow is uh, there, then I'm... Wow. Okay. So, well, the one chow that I'm running, <laughs> pretty good. Uh, well, nothing to wrath, I guess. So now I need a Senjin into Belcher. Into maybe another Belcher. Or Sylvanas. Into an Ancient. Everything's fine. Companion, probably. No, both. I wonder if I should play the mind control tag. Depends on my next draw. Um, yep. It just dies to the bow, but it gets rid of the bow charge. Um, yeah. I probably will play the Wrath next turn. This threatens his board and doesn't let the trap engine. Oh, okay. The trap engine got started. And explosive. <laughs> Might have been better to play. I don't know. Like on his side. Um, now I can protect the mind control tag, which is pretty good. So he needs another card to deal with both the Senjin and the mind control tag. I wonder. And if you place like piloted shredder this turn, I can silence it, hit it, and hit him for six. It might take six damage, nine damage from the shield master if he wants to kill it with two bow charges. Cinder was a pretty good draw. The only other draw that no, the other two draws that would have been better than uh, Belcher and Druid of the Claw. So I guess I'm playing Face Hunter, and this is the second explosive trap, which is kind of unfortunate. But I have time. Um, I won't give him a free board clear and another bow charge. Might have been a bluff, but... Hmm. I don't think so. Okay, so I can I can get rid of the charge. Keltazard. Uh. There are three lines of play. The first is run this into that. If it's explosive, it dies. Ah, oh, no, I want to trigger the explosive, actually, I guess. Um. Hmm. So the first is Ancient of Lore. Which will probably trade with this guy next turn. If he doesn't hmm. trade, I can play the Kalthazad and get a free 5-5 five five on the board. Um, the second one is play the Wrath hit and do nothing this turn. 
Might cause me trouble, might not. This The third one is not using all the mana, but hitting here and playing Keeper. Seems like the best option right now, given that I can deal 5 damage. Right now. Let's see. Oh, he bluffed me. Oh. I don't think that I need the healing. Hmm. Well, I denied him a bow charge nonetheless. So I guess it's fine. And like I said, if he trades, um, that's good. Then I can set up the engine of war. If he doesn't trade, I play Kalthazad, hit here, get a free 5-5. Five five. Uh. Okay, he traded. Um, engine of war? Still? Still has a lot of cards though, so it's far from being over. At least I have this overcosted mind control tech. Can you play Spelcher? So this is five. I would have four. Uh, would have been fun to like trigger the high main somehow, keep a wrath or something, hmm. and then get a minion. Maybe the Belcher would have been cool, but <clears throat> guess it's not that easy, is it? Um, Oh, I feel like this is the way to go for now. Time waits for no one. Yeah. <laughs> Still hoping for a good Kalthazad, but. Probably won't happen. He just trades here. Maybe here. Maybe he finds an additional damage. Maybe Glyphsukur is something for the slime and then trades here. Might even be able to clear the board with an Unleash or something. Hmm. I've double swipe Wrath, so I can deal with a lot of possible board states. Problem is a second owl all to the face that's a problem well if he follows it up with a second hymen i guess hmm. so i assumed it to be face hunter but it seems like he's running freezing trap also he's running belchers high mains uh, it seems like more like the regular mid-range hunter quickly hmm. Let's see what he does. Kill command. Oh. Did you get all the attacks that you... Yeah, you can. Ah, you missed one damage. <sighs> okay. <clears throat> I guess it's time for a double swipe then. Oh no, I have a mind control tag. Almost forgot about that. Engaging TC-130 into dislocator. So... What does this mean? 
This means trade, wrath hmm. trade. No, this way, of course. Um, swipe. Swipe doesn't really do anything. Double swipe would have been awesome. But I think that's strong enough. I still have a pretty good board for both my scenarios or my Kael'thuzan. It's seven, nine, plus six, fifteen. Fifteen plus eight, twenty-three damage potentially over the next two turns. Bring out your dead. Or another engine of war. I think I want to get rid of as most damage as I can. Uh, I might just scenarios for the taunt. Or just engine of war. I also like the idea of double swipe. Double swipe. Hit, hit, hit. Time waits for no one. Okay, why not? Heal nature's run. Didn't miss lethal, did I? Oh, no, because the two collateral damage. Could have put him down to two or something. Uh, seven, nine, plus eight, 17. Yeah, 20, no, it wasn't lethal. Might be lethal next turn though. Um, I set myself up for unleash. Uh, At least for these two, but I still have strong plays, so it doesn't really matter. Oh, double this guy. I think I'll just count those out then. Or will I? Uh, five, six, plus four. Uh, really? Five, six, I mean, seven, okay. No. Yeah, I can just trade off my guys and go for big scenarios next turn. What? I mean, he played double kill command. So if he top decks a bow, that's five. And then he plays uh, Tundra Rhino. No, he can't play Tundra Rhino Savannah Hyman. <laughs> he could play King Crush. It's still just eight damage. So it should be safe against almost everything. To my side. And these are two web spinner beasts, so. That's nine, nine plus four, 13. And I get this back, of course. Finally, a dwarf. Okay, let's let's not go back to this rank ten uh, two thing. Mel 
Furion versus Rexar. Let the hunt begin. I must protect the wild. Another hunter. Innovate shade into wild growth. Seems like a good plan. Also have the coin. Um. If he has a disgusting Undertaker star, it might still be a problem. I am okay. ready. Seems like a normal star. A good star? I don't know. For me, probably. I could coin growth into shade next turn. And I want to get rid of this too. I'll probably just hero power next turn. Depends on my draws, but for now... Hmm. So I could swipe next turn, if I would go wild growth. But do I have to? I would right here, swipe whatever he plays. Let's say he rolls Huffer next turn. Still, it's still the same. No, uh, it's still the same play because of a coin. Uh, growth now should leave me up with more options next turn, but I take two additional damage. Oh, that's fine. He plays Clockwork Gnome, so he is a pure face hunter, I guess. To my side. It's almost correct. Um, this changes plans though. Would have liked to have the swipe for this, but now I have to swipe this. Double big game hunter against hunter. A uh, little bit annoying. No reason to. Like, no reason to attack this. Uh, Houndmaster is a problem, but. It just dies too easily if I reveal the shade. Keeping it stealth for something bigger is probably the best way. Put this apple on your head. Bring out your dead. Could need something that I can actually play now. Didn't have that in mind. Hmm. So basically I have one more turn of nothingness. And I have to get rid of the juggler. Probably big game hunter hero power. Not even sure what I want to hit. Hmm. I've got the beast in my sight. I can't coin out the Ancient. I have this going for me. Not much else at the moment though. This just dies here. This dies to basically everything. My Magma Rager Shade. So it's one one of these cards is a spare part from the Clockwork Gnome. What did he play? He played Clockwork Gnome into Creeper into Companion Juggler? No, yeah. Juggler Undertaker. Oh, kill command on this one. Okay. 
That's probably good for me. Oh, an inner raid. So I could play the Kel'Thuzad now, but I want to. I might want to play the Kel'Thuzad next turn, though. Just to get this overcosted Boda Fist Ogre on the board. Uh, okay, that's a lot of stuff. What is this card now? Uh. Second swipe would be awesome. Lore, a lore. Um, I take two, three, four, five, six. Probably eight plus two, ten damage next turn, which puts me down to six. So I guess I want to heal with the lore. I have the Kel upcoming. Um, should buy me enough time. And innervate for here powering the beast or the Undertaker. Beast is probably better. If he plays two death rattles next turn, he these go up to be three three and three four. Uh, well, given that I played the Kalthazan, should be possible to deal with them. Do we play around kill command or under death rattles? For no one. I save one damage if I assume two death rattles. Okay, so this is given. You might run Houndmaster. I don't think that he would trade both his guys away. Huh. So my play will be big game hunter, and he had to death row. Okay. Oh. I guess in this case, yeah, I could have saved one damage on one of my minions. So I hope that I pick up something that I can play with the big game hunter next turn, which means five or less mana. I have two more ancients, a scenarios. Sylvanas of like nine. It's 14 cards that I can draw. And I draw one of the six. <laughs> Aww. That's somewhat annoying. I've got the beast in my sights. Well, at least I can heal myself next turn again. The boombots will probably kill my bird, though. And he still has two cards. Not much Kel'Thuzad value. Hmm. Why would you attack the four attack minion instead of one of the five attack minions? Two of my six cards. Oh. Okay, five, six, seven. Yeah. I don't want to give him the beast at this point. I'm playing around Kill Command, which is one of these 19 cards. Uh, by denying him the beast option. Still have two Sentients, two Druids. Two Belchers and an Engine of War and a Scenarius for Taunts. Which makes it 8 out of these 18 cards. So basically half of my deck's, uh, deck is. Um, oh, a Tundra. Of course. <laughs> Just to make sure that he can trade with my board. And a swipe. Uh, if 
I swipe here, power, I play nothing else. High main is really a problem now. Also, kill command. Uh, I die anyways, Rain. I'll show them. I'll show them all. Uh. <sighs> Does this even help? Mm, it might. I think I want rather this to be damaged than myself. For the wild. Buys me one turn later. That's 11, so he probably... No. Oh. Will probably sacrifice his... Mad Scientist. Ah, there's a Hyman. So probably my choice of either a uh, 10 mana Kalthazad or a 9 mana Engine of War. Hmm. If it's Explosive Trap, what do I do? Explosive trap means that I lose. Pray for mercy. Let's see what trap it is first. So it's freezing trap. Time waits for no one. Fine. Or not. Five, nine. I really needed to do these two things. <laughs> Basically no need to trade for me. <clears throat> and I'm dead to every card. Uh, well, that's a card. Don't even know if I could win from here. Like, if I hero powered the turn where I skipped it, I would be at 3. Um, could play the Belcher and would survive one more turn. With three damage to his face. Uh, Belcher Wrath Hero ability hit would be eight, what? seven, three, two, maybe one. And might have been possible. If I did the if I didn't rope the turn that hard earlier. Now it's definitely lost. Or do I have a card that can heal me? No, not really. Do I have a card that can win? Throat of the Claw, seven, eight. No. I can see. So I could have stand a chance of 
for. Uh, hmm. yeah. For one more turn. Which might have won me the game. And yeah, that's what I talked about earlier. I tend to rope too many turns. So many big names, but during the last days. Um, do I keep wrath for keepers and, sh and such? Um, hmm. I'm going second. I mean, he could play knife jugglers and mini bots and charge. Okay, let's keep the wrath. Now I wish I would have tossed it. <laughs> and a chow. I don't. I don't use coin wrath on a chow. Use the wrath now and coin out this engine later, I guess. Or I could just hero power this one. Uh. Definitely better than that this god on the one one than on a two three coins engine. Yeah. Next turn I can do something like hero power and wrath or swipe his four drop or something. Pilot shredder maybe. I have a turn 5. Ow. That's a wasted owl, I'd say. <sighs> I'm kinda tempted to swipe. I don't think it's enough. Kinda tempted to wrath. I'll need the swipe later, I guess. Um, Quartermaster with one guy isn't that much of a problem. And kill the Sengen with Cogmaster, so I don't get a board next turn. Um, but I don't get it anyways. I have no play that grants me a board. Other than zombie chow. <laughs> will probably be part of my turn 6, I guess. <clears throat> Two arms, men. Okay. Decide to go for the 3-3 three, three guy. It's not bad. <clears throat> well, it's not too scary either. Um, swipe, chow. Hmm, I wonder. 
Why in the world would I do that? Okay, so it's built. <laughs> he plays a second quartermaster though. <laughs> I have no time for games. So Sylvanas. Well, like I said, it's probably going to be part of my six mana turn. Sylvanas is a problem. Hmm. Especially with the quality in mind. Uh, it's not much I can do about this at the moment. Where shall I strike? <laughs> <laughs> Keeper would have been nice, of course, but it's not there. I don't even have a good play to throw at him in case I want I to wonder. sacrifice my boy. <sighs> so the worst case is... Quality runs this into that. No, no, that's not bad. Get here. Equality, hit the slime. Think. Get one of these. Gets this. <clears throat> Still has five mana. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. Uh, Easy Follow the rule. <clears throat> Seems like we have to follow some rules here. Which means I can simply swipe the Sylvanas and lose nothing, but also play nothing. But it should be okay as long as there is no Lion Hands or something. Hit here, swipe Sylvanas, seems like the obvious play. <clears throat> Just try to figure out if there's something else. Like hit this swipe here, hit there. Doesn't do really. Hmm. And the next question is do I play Big M Hutter or Hero Power? Don't think that he runs two Big M Hunter targets. And what trade here? I guess it's okay. Hmm. Time waits for no one. Ah. Next turn is most likely to be one of the engines. Probably lore or war. Um, turn 8 Tyrion is a serious problem. Without Keeper or Black Knight. That's okay. Maybe second Cockhammer. That's oh, just so he has six, eight, nine damage showing for the ancient. And I got a keeper. Equality is still a serious threat. If he equalities and hits, I'm facing eight damage. I got down to 11. Hmm. But he has only two cards then. And I have a keeper now. I can swipe whatever he and no, okay. I guess that's good enough. Oh second owl. Nice for you. So, 
Swipe might mean that I take 8 damage. <laughs> um, what would I swipe? This one. Swipe here. Big game hunter. Choo choo being up against my fort two. And I hear your power. Should I hear power this to bring it to one? Probably not. Um, next turn I could keeper this, but he probably runs it into my big game hunter. Um, Ancient of lore. It's another play. I'm a little bit afraid of the boom birds, but can't really do something about it. I don't want to kill it my big. Um, to kill my big game hunter. Six, uh, four is. Average, <laughs> It's still problematic regarding a second true silver, a second cock hammer, or a Tyrion or something. Uh, and he just top deck muster after I played my second swipe. My shield for Argon. At least now I know what cards he holds. But, hmm. So we went old face. Ancient of War. It says 1, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 damage. I can reduce it to 9. Which would protect my ancient so far. I, I could also play double keeper on these two guys, then hit kill this guy and he will power one guy down. It's these three die, so it's one, two, three, four, five damage. I stay at nine. It's risky. Um, but it sets up for my engines. I just hope that I can get through before something bad happens. But this gives me both, uh, both the biggest board to um, protect and uh, protects my engine and it plays around quartermaster but if he top decks Tyrion or lay on hands okay consecration kills me no it doesn't it depends <laughs> it depends if I want to kill one of his guys. I think I don't want to. Next turn Ancient for heal and then I should have a good enough board to be somewhat safe. Reporting for duty. Okay. Kind of. Hmm. He played one consecration. I can't play around everything. I would just play it. It's one turn into consecration. Just a single turn. And even if he top decks it. Um. Okay. Well played. Even if he would have top decked it, it wouldn't have won him the game. He just would have killed my shade and my two keepers. I still would have had 10 damage on the board. Yay! 